Hello, I'm Yolanda and I have been practicing yoga for some 13 years and I can remember when I first started I couldn't even touch my toes and since my yoga journey began my life and my health have just become better and better. Practicing yoga has brought me much flexibility of my body and my mind. Practicing yoga has taught me to become more focused, which has helped me in every area of my life and brought me much peace and harmony and contentment. So why don't you join me now and let our practice begin. And remember to just do your best and enjoy this special time you've taken for yourself. Lay on your back, closing your eyes, face soft, spreading your shoulders, open the palms, let the fingers just curl naturally, let the feet open naturally, and just noticing your breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. This is Shavasana, the corpse pose and you're just letting go breathing in through the nose and out through the nose and bring your hands to your belly now one palm over the other breathing in and exhaling and breathing in again into the belly and exhaling and again in breath and exhaling and bring your hands to the base of the ribcage now to the diaphragm breathing in and exhaling and in and exhaling and in again and exhaling bring your hands to the top of the chest now the base of the throat breathing in filling up And exhaling. And in. And exhaling. And one more. In. And exhaling. That's good. Stretch out through the fingers and toes now and reaching up to the sky with the fingers, reaching up all the way back behind you, full of breath, reach and stretch, reach and stretch, stretching the whole body, holding the breath and reach up to the sky again and come back down on the exhalation. Right now up to the chest in breath, hands around the knee and exhale head up and squeeze squeeze the breath out and release and drawing up the other side now in breath and exhale head up to the knee and squeeze and release and slowly bring both knees up to the chest now, hands around the knees, full of breath. 
And exhale, head up to the knees and squeeze. And rolling forward to sit up. And just take a moment here just to become balanced and focused and going within. So this is Uthita Varasana. So stretching forward, lengthening through the fingers, drawing the rib cage forward over the thighs as you breathe in. And as you exhale, drawing the shoulders back and the buttocks back to the heels and lengthening through the spine. As you breathe in, keep drawing the arms forward and the chest forward over the thighs. And as you exhale, drawing the buttocks back to the heels and lengthening. That's good. And keep breathing in, stretching forward with the arms and the hands and the fingers and exhaling and buttocks back and stretching, lengthening. Just let your forehead resting on the floor, stretching. That's good. So lengthen out into Uthita Varasana and slowly come up on the in-breath, looking up and exhale, curling under and squeeze the breath from the belly, tucking in the chin and stretching up through the shoulders, slowly drawing up and drawing the chest through and the shoulders back and exhale, curling under arching the spine good and in breath slowly looking up again drawing the chest through breathing in and exhale curling under stretching up through the back and shoulders squeezing out the breath and in again looking up Drawing the chest through and exhale again, squeezing the breath out, curling under, stretching up. That's good. So walk your hands back behind you. And we're coming into Balasana posture, which is the child's pose, a resting posture. Let your shoulders fall, let your elbows fall, and just resting on your forehead, buttocks to the heels, no straining, soft breathing. Let the hands just rest, just letting go. It's a beautiful posture to do just to rest any time, lengthening through the spine, soft breathing, letting go of any tension as you breathe out. That's good. So stretching forward into Uthita Varasana, come up on the in-breath, tuck the toes under, draw the heels back, the shoulders back and exhaling and slowly come into the knees, untuck the feet, draw the shoulders back, bend the elbows, breathing in, stretching up, tucking under again, lifting up and exhale, shoulders back, heels back, lengthening through the spine and coming forward again in breath, looking up, shoulders back, drawing yourself through, pelvis to the floor, full of breath, exhaling back up, 
pushing the heels back, shoulders back, lengthening through the spine. Squeeze the breath out. In breath, come through, open up. Coming back again, tuck the feet under, lifting up. Exhale. And again, into the knees, looking up, hips forward, untuck, in breath, shoulders back. Tucking under again, lifting up, exhale. And coming forward, bring your hips forward, breathing in, shoulders back. Good, and stretching back into Ohita Varasana, getting ready for standing postures. That's good. Good, coming into standing, feet together, exhale and draw the arms up on the in-breath. Reaching up in the arms beside the ears, reaching and stretching forward as you exhale, bending from the hips, stretching forward, doing your best. Bend the knees if it hurts the back, bend the hands around the elbows. Good, and as you breathe in, drawing up through the hips. And as you breathe out, lengthening forward, exhaling. Breathing in, drawing up through the legs, drawing up through the knees, up through the hips. And exhale, folding forward. Good. Keep breathing in. Keep lengthening. Just let gravity draw you down. Folding forward. Good, and slowly release, bend the knees and come up on the in-breath and roll the shoulders back and exhale. We're getting ready to do some shoulder rotations. Exhale. In breath, draw your shoulders up and draw them back. Exhale. Good. And draw them forward in breath and exhale. And in. And exhale. Drawing back and drawing back on the in breath coming up. And exhale forward. And in. And exhaling back. And drawing back again in breath. Exhale forward. And drawing up again in breath. Shoulders back. And exhale. And drawing back again in breath. Lift them up to the ears. Exhale forward. And the last one in breath. Drawing up. And exhale back. Good. Good, coming into standing and walking the feet out a bit over a metre, turning out one side, a right angle to the other. Good. Exhaling. Draw the shoulders up and back on the in-breath. And reaching over, exhale, dropping the arm down. And in-breath, drawing the other arm up, reaching up, full of breath. And on the exhalation, sliding down the leg. Good. Keep the kneecaps drawing upwards, reaching up to the sky with the other hand. Keep the shoulders open. 
if it hurts the neck to look up, just look down every now and then as you breathe out, sliding down the leg. Good. Good. Exhale, look down, bend the knee, slowly come up on the in breath. Exhale, turn the other way, in breath, open up, exhale back and over, good, sliding down the leg, exhale, reaching up in breath, and slide down, exhale, reaching up to the sky, looking up at the hand, exhale, sliding down, Shoulders open. Good. That's good. Exhale down now. Bend the knee. Look down. Slide up on the in-breath. Exhale. And coming back to centre and have another in-breath. Step the feet out a little bit more than a metre apart and opening up to a right angle. Have an in breath. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale. Good. And bending the knee, keeping the torso aligned, the chin lined up with the pelvis, nice straight spine, and making sure not to collapse the back foot. Keep the instep open, the side of the foot rolling open. Lengthening through the hands, right through to the fingertips. Good. You can look down, look down the hand right to the fingertips as you're lunging, exhaling into it. Lengthening up on the in-breath and lunging on the exhalation, keeping the knee open above the ankle, exhaling. And come up in-breath, return the foot, exhale. And the other side now, open up in-breath, Shoulders back, exhale, and lunging into it. Good. And making sure to keep the back instep open. In breath here, open the shoulders, torso straight. Good. Exhaling, lunging, stretching out through the arms and the fingertips. Keeping the knee over the ankle, not allowing the knee to roll forward. Good. Exhaling. And slowly now, coming up on the in-breath. Return the foot. Exhale. Bring the feet back together. Have another in-breath. And exhale. We're going to use a cushion for this posture. Bring your buttocks onto the cushion. Coming forward. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands around your feet. And let the knees just fall open. You don't have to use a cushion, but it's helpful if your back's rounded. And just massaging from side to side. Allowing the knees to drop, the hips to open. Keeping the back straight, lengthening upwards through the spine. Good. Have an in-breath. And as you exhale, pushing the knees down slightly, not straining. And if you feel up to it, you can bring your hands around the feet, let the feet open, and push the elbows into the inside of the knees. And as you exhale, just putting gentle pressure from the elbows to the knees, pushing down slightly, trying to open the soles of the feet with your hands. 
Good. And slowly coming back, lengthening through the spine again. Have an in-breath, open up. And exhale, just pushing the knees down a little bit more. That's good. Another breath in. Exhale, pushing the knees down a little bit more, opening up. That's good. Good, and releasing now, and coming and sitting in a cross-legged position, and just taking a moment for yourself. Lie on your back, stretching your fingertips to the heels. Exhale, pushing up into the feet on the in-breath. Lift the arms up, hips up, full of breath. Reaching up, coming up into the shoulders, chin tucked in. And exhale, coming back down one vertebrae at a time, connecting with the floor, squeezing the breath out. Keeping the chin tucked in and in again, coming up. Lifting right up into the shoulders, chin tucked in, stretching up. And exhale slowly down, connecting one vertebra at a time. Bring the arms down. Exhaling completely, squeeze the breath from the belly. And again, coming up in breath. Reach and stretch up, lift the hips. And slowly reaching up again, up to the sky, and come back down on the exhalation. Good. And again in breath, reaching up, stretching up to the sky and back. Good. And exhaling, reaching up again and come back down, squeezing the breath, one vertebra at a time, making contact with the floor. Exhale. And again in breath, reaching up. Right up to the top of the shoulders. And exhale, just bring your arms down now, keeping the hips up. And Draw your arms together, clasping the hands. Draw the shoulders in. Good. Lifting the hips in breath. Bring the thumbs to the inside, fingers to the outside of the hips and lifting up. And exhale, softening into the posture. Keep your eyes open. Keep your chin tucked in, elbows tucked in, reaching up through the hips, pushing up through the hands in breath. Keeping the feet planted. Exhale. And slowly now, releasing the hands and bringing the spine down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, bring the knees up in breath and slowly bring the head up to the knees and squeeze the breath out. Good. And release. And just resting here for a moment. Lying on your back, feet together, knees bent. Bring one leg over the other. Good. And tilting your head to the opposite side. Pressing your shoulder of that side into the floor. And drop the knees over the other way. Good. Breathing in. And as you exhale, just allowing the knees to drop a little bit more. Keeping the head looking over the shoulder and the shoulder pressing down onto the floor. Keep breathing in 
and pressing the knees down a little bit more, exhaling, not straining. Good. And again in breath. And exhaling over. And slowly come back on the in-breath and release. Bring the knees up to the chest. And exhale, head up to the knees. And releasing. And going the other side now, changing the opposite leg over. Looking over the other shoulder. Dropping the head over. Keeping the shoulder to the floor. Exhaling, pushing the knees down. Good. Another breath in. And a little bit more, pushing the knees down as you exhale, softening into the posture. And again in breath. And exhale. Good. That's good. Slowly come up on the in-breath, releasing the knees, hands around the knees. And exhale, just squeeze the knees into the chest. Good, and release. And lengthening out and just resting. We're now going to end our posture sequence with Shavasana, the corpse pose, a posture of total relaxation. A very important posture to do at the end of your practice. Just surrendering. Softening the face. And letting the shoulders open. Let the feet just open naturally. Softening through the hands. Good. And let the softness from the face come down the neck and softening down the spine softening all the back muscles letting go softening the lower back softening the hips and the buttocks softening the belly softening the thighs and the knees Softening down the shins and the calves and the ankles and down through the feet and let go of any tension out through the toes. Completely surrendering. Just nothing. The thoughts like the clouds. Let them go. Just completely surrender. That's good. And we're slowly going to come back now. Very slowly. Bringing your knees up to your chest. And rolling over onto your right side into fetal position. And just take a moment for yourself here. Just taking a moment to appreciate yourself for taking this time out to do this special practice. Taking time just to love yourself. That's good. And slowly coming up into a sitting position. Sitting with your legs crossed. We're now going to end our practice. Bring your hands to prayer position and reaching up. Opening up and drawing into the palms all the ancient spiritual wisdom, guidance and knowledge. And draw this down into your soul and let this bring you everything you need in your life. 
for peace, harmony, happiness, joy and love. And namaste. And namaste means I salute you.